It's time to talk the final wrestling pay-per-view of 2023 AEW Worlds and Let's kick it off. Main card, the AEW TBS Championship as Julia Hart defends against Abaddon. I, I do think Julia Hart is going to retain the championship. I mean, I Abaddon is just, you know, sadly a stepping stone. And, uh, you know, at least she's being used now. At least she's being used um, on television. That's pretty cool for her. But I just don't see her winning the championship here. I think it's going to be a good match. But, um... No if and so buts about it. Julia Hart will retain the championship. She just won it. Let's not take it off her just yet. So I got Julia Hart winning and retaining the AEW TBS championship. She just won it. Let's not take it off her just yet. So I got Julia Hart winning and retaining the AEW TBS championship. We have a... I'm going to get this match out of the way because I don't care about this match. An eight-man tag team match as Ricky Starks, Big Bill, and the Don Callis family to catch the powerhouse Hobbs to go against the sex gods, Sammy Guevara, Sting, and Darby Allin. So, there were like three returns last night. Sammy Guevara, who returned after being um, with the concussion and all kind of stuff, glad he's okay, and becoming a dad. So, congratulations to Sammy Guevara, by the way, and Tay Conti on their kid. Awesome stuff. Sting and Darby Allin return too, and the Don Callis family is still a thing. I do have the faces going over the list, Sex Gods and Sting and Darby Allin to win that match. And can we just move on, please? No offense. Can we please? If you're enjoying this rivalry, I mean, that's great. I'm one of them. It's just like, can we please move on? So I do have uh, the faces going over in that match. There's really nothing to say about it. So I got them going over. For the AEW Women's Championship, Timeless Tony Storm against Riho. Riho returned, I believe, last week to uh, confront the champ, or two weeks ago, I believe, to confront the champ. And here we are. Timeless Story Storms finally champ by defeating, um, beating Sheeta at World, uh, Full Gear, World's End, World, uh, Full Gear, um, I keep, yeah, Full Gear, I keep calling this show Worlds Collide for some reason, I don't know why, I think Rio's very great talent myself, uh, is she gonna be champ again? Nah, Story Storm's time, she's keeping the title for as long as she wants, and she's gonna put on a smile and, you know, be the Marilyn Monroe, her gimmick is so funny, I just love it, you know, Rio's not that bad either, she's cool, um, but yeah, I just don't see her winning. Tony Storm's retaining the championship, and who does she have afterwards? I have no idea. So we'll just see what happens after that one. But Tony Storm's retaining the uh, women's championship. Swerve Strickland against Keith Lee. Can we talk about that banger last night with Swerve and Moxley and Jay White? Great triple threat la match last night. Great, great match last night. And obviously Moxley won on that one in just a minute. But I do have Swerve winning. I do like Keith Lee. I think Keith Lee is pretty awesome, and he's great. But Swerve, I think he... Uh, People love Swerve, and the people love Prince Nana, too. So the Prince Nana dance and all that stuff. So I do have Swerve Strickland beating Keith Lee. Can't wait. Should be a good one. Miro against Andrade El Idolo is next. I really know what's been going on, so I can't really say much about it. Um, but I do have a prediction who I think is going to win. Miro wins. I don't know. I guess Miro's going to win. There you go. So he's going to beat Andrade, and maybe uh, Lana joins back up with Miro. I don't freaking know what's going to happen with that one, but... I do have Miro winning, so there you go, I guess. <laughs> There's not much to say about that one. Um, this one I have a lot to say about, man. Eddie Kingston versus John Mox are the finals of the AEW Continental Classic. Winner becomes the first ever Triple Crown champion in AEW. First of all, this tournament's been so much fun. It's Eddie Kingston's redemption story. This is basically what this whole thing was built around. Eddie Kingston's redemption story. You know, he was told he couldn't do this or that. Or in Brian Danielson's words, he's a bum. All that stuff. He's going to prove the doubters wrong in his hometown. And in front of his people, and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen with that one. I do have Eddie Kingston beating John Box, and that promo last night between those two was so, so intense. I just love when those two got on the mic. It's so real. It's so intense. So, um, yeah, I do have Eddie Kingston beating John Box and becoming the inaugural Triple Crown champion for the TNT Championship as Christian Cage goes up against Adam Edge, the rated R superstar Copeland, whatever you want to call him, Edge. No DQ match for the AW TNT Championship. Personal shit going on. Nick Wayne's mom turned heel, and Christian Cage is the best in the world, in my opinion. And please slap the AW Championship on that man one day. He's been doing so well. And he is father of the year. We all know that. Anyways, enough of me, um, Christian Cage fanboy. Um, I'm really excited for these guys just tear the house down. They tore the house up in Canada a few weeks ago, which was a very fun match in my opinion. And of course, it ended with Mama Wayne turning heel because, you know, obviously Edge attacked her baby boy. Wouldn't you want to attack someone to attack your kid? I'm just saying. Even though Christian is a manipulated piece of garbage. And, you know, Christian Cage deserves to get his mouth slapped. I see Christian Cage's reign coming to an end here, and uh, I think this is where Edge wins his first championship in AEW. Christian Cage dropping the title to Edge here. I think it'll be a very, very violent 
Very violent, personal match. It's probably a personal rough. Edge beats Christian, senseless, and then delivers 500 spears to him. There you go. And in the main event, MJF faces Samoa Joe for the AEW World Championship. Who's the devil? We'll talk about that in a sec. Of course, MJF basically got in Samoa Joe's face a few months ago and said, Hey, you want to rematch? Well, Nintendo Samoa Joe was the one who got in his face and said, Hey, I, I want to rematch. MJF's like, okay, fine, we'll do it again. World's end, here we are. MJF, or Samoa Joe, my bad, said that he wanted MJF at 100%, and the devil people started to appear, and who's the devil, blah, blah, blah. And here we are, last night, Samoa Joe finally showed his true colors. He delivered the muscle buster, held the AW Championship. Samoa Joe is apparently working with the devil. I mean, he made a deal with the devil, so there you go. Face MJF is just, it's something, folks. It's something. I... It was cool at first, and now it's just lost its luster, in my opinion. You know, it's just because Adam Cole's been injured, and uh, we'll see Adam Cole very soon. Adam Cole's the devil. We Pretty much, Adam Cole's the devil. There you go. We have not seen Adam Cole for a while. He hasn't been doing the vignettes. Adam Cole's the devil. And, of course, the mass devil people won the Tad Tot, or which Tad Belts last night. I, people are saying Samoa Joe could win. I would like to see that happen, but I don't see it happen, sadly. Um... I do think uh, Samoa Joe loses, uh, MJF retains, and then the devil is going to reveal himself to be Adam Cole. Bay Bay. Uh, one of my buddies said it could be Tony Khan under the mask. I mean, that'd be hilarious. Um, but I do see uh, MJF retain the AW World Championship and marching into 2024 as the world champion to face whoever this guy is going to be, Adam Cole, Bay Bay. And that is my predictions for AW World's End, and uh, that is the final predictions video of 2024, 2023, my bad. And uh, 2024 is upon us next Monday. And it's been a wild year, guys. And I hope you've all enjoyed it. And we'll see each other in 2024. There's more videos to come. To sweep the like button down below. Subscribe and just like this one. Follow our guy at Twitter, Heal Baller. And Instagram, Heal Baller YT. And I will see you on the next one. Too sweet. Peace out.